The threat from climate change is serious. It is urgent and it is growing. Probleme sind gewaltig. Jeden Tag sterben weltweit etwa 150 Tier- und Pflanzenarten aus. Rising sea levels threaten every coastline. As a nation made up of over 7,000 islands, rising seas due to global warming take on a whole new meaning. More powerful storms and floods threaten every continent. Disasters like Kanaka is not that unusual now. So we have to be prepared for the worst. More frequent droughts and crop failures. A few years ago in Zimbabwe, we would be able to predict when the first rain will fall. But today, rains are not predictable. They fall anytime. And when they do, people are swept away. On shrinking islands, families are already being forced to flee their homes as climate refugees. Our islands are just one meter above sea level and the impact of the greenhouse emissions are killing our people. Methane is also a big part of the issue. Livestock farming, particularly the industrial uh, feedlot operations, and when you hear people say that industrial livestock farming is a big part of global warming, they're, they're absolutely right. We know that short-lived carbon forcers like methane contribute significantly to the warming of our planet, and because they are short-lived, they also give us an opportunity to make rapid progress if we work to limit them. I've been seeing as a state senator the environmental cost of livestock production. It's a source of pollutants and toxic contamination, nitrogen runoff, as well as a major contributor to greenhouse gas emissions. It's much easier to think it's all the fault of you know coal miners or a power station a long way away. We can all focus the blame somewhere else and just say, you know, government's got to make that change over there rather than think about, oh, well, actually, you know, we've got to, we've got to make some change ourselves. We've got to reduce the amount of animal products we consume, and we can do it now, you know, we don't have to wait for government to do anything. Regular citizens can do all kinds of things, just make smart choices about the kinds of products that they buy. Fresh fruits and vegetables, organic food, and we believe that people are given an abundance of healthy choices, they will make the right choice. Because I know that environmentally it's the right thing to do, I know in terms of health it's the right thing to do, and ethically it's the right thing to do. By making this small change in our family's diet and adding more fresh fruits and vegetables, Barack, the girls, me, we all started to notice over a very short period of time that we felt much better and we had more energy. And really inducing all the people to go vegetarian, to be vets, Go green to save the planet. This is the moment now to limit and reverse the climate change we are inflicting on future generations. Not later, not at another conference, not in a later decade. Salvar el planeta es salvarnos, salvar nuestras vidas y de todos los seres vivientes. This is a new, a fresh dynamics which we must seize. I sincerely hope that we can seize this momentum. I think if um, all the governments of all the countries will work together to promote the um, meatless style of living, it uh, will definitely will, will save the planet. Veg, go green, save our planet.